She's shouting and screaming, praying for help from the one who created heaven and hell, the one that will give life to death on the day that our deeds will determine our end. We need to question ourselves. Why is it we stand not for the oppressed? Do we fear someone more than the one who created these men? Or do we care too much for ourselves, holding on to our wealth? I don't listen to the talk on the telly. I don't believe the Western missionary. Cause the cameras only come when it's too late. And they only intervene when there's something to gain. Bosnia part two is everyone gonna sit back again and wait. We are still waiting. Do we wait for the United Snakes government to lead a coalition to save our brothers and sisters? Brothers and sisters, are you listening? Are you engaged? Are you not afraid? Because God may forgive the ignorant, but on the day where there's no shade for those who disobeyed, what will you say? Oh, I gave a little change, but I didn't donate something substantial. See, I was trying to save for a nice car and, of course, a rainy day. Whilst your brother gets sprayed, loses limbs, hand grenade to the face, and your sister screams, as she gets raped. What if we meet our graves this way? Before we even get to spend a penny in the end, I think we ought to be ashamed. Because if wealth is decreed, and the prophet peace be upon he said, Rizq does not decrease with charity, then why are we so stingy? Why are we so hard-hearted? Why are we so selfish? Sometimes I can't help it. I think my heart's diseased, it must be. I'm enjoying a comfortable life as my sister screams. She screams. She screams, But nobody hears.